key in the keyhole. If you have a key and it fits the keyhole, but then your partner changed the keyhole, you've got to pull out a different key. What if I told you that you could pull out a different key that's appropriate for the keyhole that you're going to move them into coming up with? So now, think of it this way. There's a keyhole. Chris, come here. You have a key. It fits. They turn to their side. The keyhole changed. You need to change your key. But what if I told you that before they turn to the side, you pull out the key that fits to the next position? Not for the current keyhole, but for the next one. So now you have the key ready for that appropriate keyhole that they're gonna move into. Make sense? That could be a step ahead, that could be three steps ahead, that could be five steps ahead. This is where your jiu-jitsu goes from chapter to chapter. So it's not that you're chasing the keyhole. Your goal is to make sure that the key that fits that keyhole is ready in the subsequent position. And the current position typically is just a setup for one, two, three, four more positions down the road. You just have to have one, maybe three keys ready. Why well, have only one? You should have a couple ready, at least. What was your question? Uh, the person on the bottom doesn't turn to their side when you turn to the S now. Okay. Okay. Then they're being a shitty by being a bad partner. Because <laughs> we're doing it with the side. And would be like, hey, we're practicing guard passing, but hey, what if they don't let you pass the guard? Okay. So we're here, right? So they're not turning to the side, right? And what are they doing? Uh, go ahead. Come here. Uh -huh. And then I try to grab this arm. Uh -huh. And then you have. Because you know what? You're attacking, you're attacking the key so, 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 so we're here. So they don't turn to the side. So it's after I try to grab this arm. And they're doing what? And then so you try to go to S mount, think, or well. So they just lay here. But if we're trying to do the. Well, the, 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 okay, so action and reaction. If I'm sitting here going, hey, well, we'll just here and here, and we're just here hanging out, it's kind of weird because I'm not triggering the reaction. So what I need to do is, I need to compress his neck. What would you do with your arm? Keep it bent, but I'm going to straight. He's not protecting you. Ah, he protected. Lean it back, lock it in. See the nip, reeling it in, and then the sound of locking it. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah, it's basically like if you're setting up as you go to S mount. Line your head that way. So, my objective is an S mount. Because you know what I have here? I have the key for the S mount with the arm raiser already set up, ready to shove that key right in that hole. But that key is not here yet. I mean, that hole's not here yet. I need to get him positioned so that he configures the keyhole for that key. But that key is like four steps down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attack the key lock. <laughs> keyhole, key lock. <laughs> Look, and here, I tighten this, okay? Because I wanna make it real for him to have to turn. Yeah, right there. So there's here, and I pull it across here so that I can slide into S mount. Pull this through and then keep it bent. He wants to say flat? I don't care. You want to say flat? Okay. The balance when you're on top. Well, it's fine. You're not protecting your arm. Okay. For you to sit up, you gotta let go of the arm base. Yeah. Because you're pulling the arm to keep it bent. For him to sit up, he's gotta let go of the arm. I don't care. I'll straighten it. But you gotta be aware because that's the proper key for this particular hole. Okay? So if we go back, you know what I'm doing? I'm attacking a key lock right here. There's a nice S mount right here. Look, keep it back.
Now look, I have a lot of options from here. <coughs> Number one, I can lift my hips up. I can't lift my hips up with my feet up dangling in the air. I have to lower them. Even if you can't cross them, spur. I see a lot of this. You can clap, but that's not what you want to do. <laughs> spur, so your thigh controls their face and head. So they're limited in rotation. They can't turn their body in ways that the head cannot align. For him to turn away, he's got to move his head away. So spine is in alignment. When I'm here, I'm controlling the head, okay? Now look what I can do also. I can say, oh, okay, look. You can move that, separate, regroup it. I can pretend that I'm letting him out. What'd you do here? Oh, hey, look at what's on. I'll go here. Start locking her up. You know what typically they'll do? They'll quickly let go here, go around my thigh, let go here, and then they'll grab the hand right here. Because that's a common escape for arm locks. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna keep it bent. I'm gonna lean it back. Because he's gonna start walking his feet toward me, changing the angle. Because that typically works with an arm lock. And then you know what he's typically going to do? He's got to start coming up. He can't get under that leg. And then look, she's right under the triangle. You know what I'm doing? I'm keeping it bent. But here, I'm walking it up. Leaning it back. Make it straight. Arm lock, triangle. Okay. Does that make sense? So you have one after another, after another, after another. And it's all there. You have to just believe in one thing, that if you keep it bent, they're gonna keep it bent for you. Yes, yes, yeah, look, let go. At what point do you feel that you need to protect your arm? Right now. Go, protect it. Okay, good, right here, that's it. It's a done deal, he cannot escape, right here. If your hand is dangling like this, and you sit up and it's all dangling, you like this, you know, then you're not reeling it in. Lock it to my hip, let the gi work for you. If you're leaning this way, that's one tension. If you're leaning towards the feet, and shrug and look up, it's a whole other tension. And you can straight. Okay? One last time. Do that way this way. I'm selling the key lock. Because you know when I can get here? Potentially a key lock. He'll bend his arm. Yeah, there you go. So it's real. Okay? Otherwise, why would he move in the directions? Okay? Look here. Look, see how his arm's bent? The reason why he wants his arm bent is because he wants to bring it to his hip and he wants to bump and roll. Put your right foot over my foot. Trap my arm. Bring your right hand to your hip. To, to my hip. Okay. Okay. Kind. Okay. So I want to keep this out so the elbow's out. But I don't want to let him go underneath. So from here, I'm going to drive my weight forward. Pulling this out. And I'm going to just drive across his neck. Yes. Look. Nice and tight. Keeping it bent. Pulling it through. Lean her down. Oh, you let her go. He bends it. He saves it. I'm going to He's pulling himself down. I'm pulling him away. Can you come up? No. No. And you want him to come here? Lean it back to his Lock it in. Lift the hip. Come here. Reel it in. Look back. Rock the bar. Okay? Try that. One, two, three. You have a partner that's going to be flat on their back while the whole purpose is to get into their side. Mm -hmm. I guess